the previous video we managed to achieve one of the biggest goals yet. We lamped all the way to level 20 Slayer and this unlocks something quite special on the account and it's not rock slugs. Now we have the ability to use these red experience lamps from Varrock Museum and these are vital for us to get 66 Slayer on the account and to be able to kill the fossil island wyverns. Let's get started. We're starting off this video with level 20 Slayer but by the time we've used all the lamps we have access to we're going to be much much higher. So here's our first experience lamp coming in, 2000 Slayer experience. Level 20 all the way up to level 23 with just one of these lamps and we have access to quite a few. We've got a big selection of fossils saved up. We've been collecting them ever since we came to the island so like over three weeks of fossils. We have loads here. Have to do one more boring thing before we can head over to the museum and that's clean all of these fossils so I can put them in the cabinets. So yeah, I'll get started with cleaning and I'll be back when they're all cleaned and then we'll hand them all in. We're going to get a lot of Slayer experience from all these lamps, it's going to be great. So this here will be the final run. I'm going to do a few of the rare fossils but we're not actually going to do them all because there's only a certain amount of cabinets in the Varrock Museum and I don't want to use too many because it's much harder to turn them into prayer XP if they're already cleaned. It means it splits them from being one type of, you know, unidentified fossil to being like six or seven. Just means you use up a lot more slots and a lot more time training prayer. So we've cleaned that last one. Now for the fun bit. This is where we get to hand in all the fossils we've collected over the past few weeks and get as many of these lamps as we can. We are going to be relying on genies all the way up to 66 so we're not going to get to our goal but we will get past halfway pretty much. Not halfway in time but way past halfway in levels. I think it'll get us up past 50 so we'll go from level 20 all the way up and then we're going to be relying on genies from like 50 plus up to 66 to kill the wyverns. Here's our first lamp coming in. Well, second lamp because we already had one from the start, but the first one of the day gets us 25 Slayer, unlocks Cockatrices. There is only two different Slayer monsters you can kill in the island, which is Ancient Zorgamites at level 57, and then there's nothing else till 66 Slayer, so all the way up to Wyverns. I need to make a better intro that shows the main goals of the account, but the biggest goal on the account is to achieve the Wyvern Visage, which is a 1 in 12,000 drop rate from any of the Wyverns, but yeah, it means we have to get up to 66 Slayer. Luckily we can start killing them a bit lower than that because some of the implings drop wild pies and slayer respites. Here's another lamp coming in and that one gets us all the way to 29 already. So 9 slayer levels already this video. I've just realised this here will be the most slayer levels we'll ever gain in one video because we can't actually train it. So yeah, there's another lamp gets us 30. So 10 levels already. But yeah, them boosts from the implings save so much time because lamping all the way from 50 to 66 is a crazy amount of lamps. I don't want to look at the exact amount or it'll get depressed but I think it's hundreds of genies we need to get. There's 32 coming in morgues. They're actually massive for Fossil Island because they dropped the flippers. If I let myself get them it'd save so much time with the Fossil Island agility but I think they're not on the island it's a bit of a bad exception to make even though they're so useful I can train the agility without them so I think I'll stick to training it without them. Actually I might straw pole it in a couple of videos whenever we go to do the agility grind, see what you guys think. But yeah there's 34 Slayer coming in, 14 levels already. We are getting through the small fossils so soon we'll be able to start making the big cabinets. Well medium first but yeah. Getting there. There's two more lamps coming in and that first one will get us 35. I don't think this will get us 36. It might be the first lamp that doesn't give us a level. It'll be close though. Yeah, just a wee bit of XP off 36. That lamp actually puts us into second on the taskless Slayer high scores. Pretty good going, we just overtook UIM Karamja. I don't think we'll get up as high as Swampletics, but we'll see how we get on after these lamps. Two more cabinets of the small fossils and then we can move on to the mediums. That was pretty cool, it's like an egg with wings. Some weird monsters, there's a dead mermaid in that one. And that there's 36, and this one... Yeah, this one will get us 37 as well, so two more levels. I think that's Killer Watts. Yeah, Killer Watts at 37. Some of the cabinets are pretty cool. There's like a wee egg with wings down there, and there's like a nut, or like a squirrel with a nut. What is that one? There's like a two-headed skull. Yeah, that squirrel's definitely an Easter egg. It must be a reference to that Ice Age movie. Don't know if you've ever seen it, but there's a wee squirrel that's always carrying a hazelnut or a chestnut or something to the very end of the movie and then he accidentally drops it. <laughs> there's a weird one that's like a bird with a shell on its back. They definitely put some time into designing these cabinets like some of them were proper weird. They'd be cool NPCs. What is this one? Like some type of crab or something? No, no, two-headed bird. Uh, two-headed bird. 
be cool if they made all these into NPCs, like made proper monsters out of them. That'll get us another Slayer level, that's 39 coming in. One more, and we'll have doubled our Slayer level this video. This lamp might actually, ah, this lamp will definitely get it. There's 40 Slayer. I think that unlocks dogs. Terror dogs, yeah, unlocked. And Basilisks, I'll never be able to kill them. Still a good few medium fossils to get through. Should get us a few more levels. Like, look at this dude with the big skull. He'd be class. Imagine just fighting him. Weird looking cub though. I think that one's like a mushroom. I think this will get us 41 Slayer and we're getting close to being able to use the large XP lamps. I think they give 5k each. There's 41. I don't think this will get us 42. Oh, did I? 42 Slayer coming in. That is Fever Spiders. Can't kill them. Get a bit lost trying to find the next cabinet. Ah, oh, here's another one. That's like a fish. No, a dark beast with a tail for swimming. That's pretty cool. And this one is... What is that thing? That's a weird looking one. I will pass on that anyway. That there lamp will get us 30, oh, 43 Slayer, so just seven more levels till we hit the 50s. And we're coming close to 150 kudos. Do you see the big counter there at the top left? There's another squirrel, oh that boy with his nut. Definitely in a reference to Ice Age there. That's a plant one. But yeah, just five more kudos and we unlock the volcanic mine. It's like a, a mushroom turtle or something. A turtle with a mushroom in its back. Yeah, I don't know what mod ghost was smoking there like. But aye, this one will get us 44 slayer I think. Yeah, 44 slayer coming in, that is sulfur lizards. I've never actually killed them, I don't even know where they are in the game. It's one slayer monster I've never been near. But yeah, sulfur lizards unlocked. And this is our last two sets of mediums down here. And that there will get us 149 kudos, so just two more. La one more cabinet will get us volcanic mine unlocked. Don't know what that thing is. Oh, a tar creeper from the swamp. Or else a lava, lava creeper from fossil mine. What is that thing? Is that like Vespa, Vespula from Reeds? It's a weird looking bug anyway. That's our second last medium, 45 Slayer. And we're on 151 kudos, so that's good. That's the volcanic mine unlocked, so we'll be able to get the teleport tabs. I'd highly recommend doing these cabinets for anybody who hasn't done them yet. Like, you can get all the fossils while you train on Fossil Island. You can either get them at the crabs, that's where I got most of mine. And you can just AFK their training combat, or you can get them from wood cutting in the swamp, and then you can get like 17 per hour. It's the fastest way to get them. I think that's a lob city. I'll be killing thousands of them later on. Probably in the next video, actually, I'll start farming them because they drop runes and herbs. There's 46 Slayer coming in. So we've got 26 Slayer levels ready this video. And that one doesn't quite get us level, but leaves us pretty close. And we're onto the large fossils now, so these will be bigger XP lamps. Don't know what this big thing is, like Gardos or something. Here's our first large lamp. Which does that give? 5,000 XP, yeah, that's pretty good. That'll be 47. And brine rats. That'd be class if we could get the brine saber. They'd be unreal for lobsities, but I don't think there's any way I can get to them. Nah, they're way, way far off Fossil Island. I'll just have to punch the lobsities to death or else maybe use magic or something on them. But you can't wear a staff, so you can't auto cast. Uh, the lobsity grind's gonna be painful. There are two more large lamps coming in, up to 160 kudos, 163, and this one will get us probably our last slayer level. Nah, we should be able to get one more I think. There's 49 slayer coming in, plus 29 slayer levels, like that's mad for about, what, 10 minutes sitting here, hand these in. I've actually miscalculated because uh, whenever we're cleaning the large fossils, it splits them into either a large kind of fossil or plant fossils and I didn't get enough to fill that last plant cabinet, so I'm gonna have to come back here at some point. But yeah, there's our last Slayer level for this trip, 50 Slayer. We might be able to get 51 or 52 once we get a few more of these plant fossils, but it just didn't give us the right amount. So that's, we've got the 150 kudos, so there's just one more thing to do before we can access the volcanic mine, and that's level 50 Slayer, flip, uh, level 50 mining, sorry. And there we go, level 50 mining coming in. We worked on that one for a long time. I don't really like mining, so we're doing one level per video. That's the volcanic mine unlocked on Fossil Island. We've got the kudos, we've got the mining, so we'll head up here, try to get a few of these, what does he call them? I have the teleport tabs going. It is a very dangerous mini game. I've seen lots of videos where people die in it, but I've never tried it before and I don't really know 
how to do it myself so I'll probably die a couple of times 150 kudos 50 mine I've got that I think this boy's supposed to give me some type of like water vessel you need it to move around underground he doesn't seem to want to give me one can I go inside got that got that ah oh, shit you have to pay him new me light of none of them right I'll go get some new me light scratch that we're actually not getting the new me light yet we have to get our prayer up so we're gonna train it here and we have the best prayer training method of any ultimate iron man it's actually a benefit to be on Fossil Island for training prayer. It's just insane the amount of XP we can get in prayer. So I put all the my rare fossils, 11 rare fossils, in the hopper, just from that deposit box there beside the stairs. And I think I just pop all these fossils. Every one that you don't get to, you lose one of your unidentified fossils, your rare ones, like. So I think you just click them all. And then eventually when the progress gets down to zero, it'll turn them into enriched bones and use them up in the house on the hill and you can get a stupid amount of prayer xp each rare fossil gets you 2.5k so these 11 will just like i think they might get me straight to 40 40 plus prayer i, want, I should probably add some more in actually because of the amount of calciums probably went down or the phosphorus ah oh, shit <laughs> it finished that will have wasted a load of calcium and phosphorus i probably only put five in each time because i'm not doing a full invent because i'm only doing like 11 and i think it, i've not seen anybody do this but I assume you just open it and then check yeah yeah that should be grand now 11 oh, I don't have enough inventory for 11 okay drop I've messed this up I'm gonna have to juggle something I'll juggle the knife over to the hill it's a good thing I didn't add more fossils I wouldn't have been able to get the wouldn't have been able to get the enriched bones back out of it yeah I'll juggle this knife anyway <laughs> a bit stupid doing that I didn't know that you couldn't like collect just a full inventory you have to collect as many as you put in that's very risky for an ultimate like if you stuck in 28 and didn't have the inventory spot you'd be screwed you'd never be able to get them out but yeah juggle them up here and all you do is use them in this machine and then it's kind of like a gilded altar it'll just instantly turn them into prayer xp see how long it takes to use them on there's one bone gets me one to 15 and there's already 20 prayer ah this is insane i'm going to be able to get like 90 plus prayer in this account very very quickly if it was quicker at my clicks i'd probably get like over 1k prayer xp per second here there's already 32 prayer 33 prayer there's 35 36 that's insane that's like if you done your clicks right there you could easily do one bone a second so you could get like 2.5k prayer xp per second there's Pray for Magic Unlocked. I'm going to do one more run to get me up to missiles. Yeah, I'll just do the regulars. I've used most of my rare fossils. Well, I've used all my rare fossils doing those cabinets and doing this. But I'm just going to put in five this time. Maybe even four, actually. I'll try it with five. I don't want to lose the fossils. I've got quite a few of these stored up anyway. But yeah, I was stupid to use ten the first go. I'll speed this up a wee bit. I'll be back when we're at the house in the hill. This is actually going to be so insane, like everything on the island gives fossils, wood cutting in the swamp, the mushroom one gives like 17 per hour, so we'll be able to get like 20k per XP per hour there, but also just like killing lobsities, killing hop snakes, ammonite crabs, anything you kill on the island has a chance to drop them and you get them through the agility as well. That first run, this is a few minutes after doing it, give me over 500k XP per hour, if I had to check straight away from hand them in, probably would be over a mil per hour for in the rare ones. I'm sure the normal will probably only give you like four or five hundred k xp per hour but in prayer that's crazy i don't think there's a quicker prayer method in the game actually i think like gilded altar gives a maximum doing like the best bones in the game three four hundred k there's 39 coming in just one level and there we go <laughs> already got it level 40 that's protect from missiles unlocked which is essential from the for this min mini game I have watched Wooks has released a guide and it's insane, it shows you all the things. You need to eventually get that large water container, but there's the ones I'm after, Volcanic Mine Teleport. So once I get them, you can teleport to and from the house. Still need to get one magic level, but that shouldn't be too hard. So we've got our Numi Light, we've got some food. We're going to have a crack at this. It is a dangerous mini game, and from what I've been watching online, a lot of people die doing it. So I'm probably going to die a few times, so it should be good content. I think what I'll do is, because we've put so much into this one, we've got... 30 slayer levels out of the way we've got 40 prayer levels we're all ready to go i think i'll make a separate video just doing this whole mining process so thank you all for watching this one i hope you've enjoyed it
If you did, consider hitting that like button. It helps YouTube algorithm share the series to more people and recommend it to more people. Also, if you just want to see the next few in the series, just hit the subscribe button.